MNE Python allows you to create single file HTML documents to store processing and analysis results. These reports are a great way to document your own research and to share it with coworkers and collaborators who will only need a web browser to view them. I've prepared here a very simple script that performs some crude processing on the MNE sample dataset. It first loads the raw data, then filters it, creates epochs, and lastly, creates an evoked object based on the epochs. Now, I want to show you how convenient and simple it is to use an MNE report to document the results of each of these processing steps. First, we're going to create an empty report from mne.report. Going to give it a title. It's just going to call it my report. All right, so this is an empty report and we can now start filling it with content. For example, with this raw object. To add a raw object to a report, we're going to use the add underscore raw method. The first parameter it expects is a raw object and the second parameter is a title. Let's just call it input raw. Just going to copy and paste this line here to add the filtered raw data to the report as well. I'm just going to change the, the title, filtered raw. And because I want to see the effects of filtering, I'm also going to pass PSD equals true, which will ensure that we will get a PSD visualization, a PSD plot in the report. All right, let's move on to the epochs. To add epochs to the report, we're going to use method add underscore epochs. First parameter it expects is an epochs object. Second parameter is a title. I'm just going to call it my epochs. And lastly, we're going to add the evoked object to the report using, you guessed it, add underscore evoked. In this case, we use the plural form because this method is special in the sense that it also accepts lists of evoked objects, not only individual objects, but these work as well. We have only one here, so we're going to pass it, going to pass, going to say evoked, whoops, evoked equals evoked auditory. The title is going to be auditory and we're set. The last thing we need to do now is to actually save the report. And to save it, we're going to call report dot save. I'm going to pass a file name. I'm just going to call it report.html here. I'm going to save the file, run the script. And this is now actually going to generate quite a number of figures in the background. And of course, it performs PSD analysis. So it takes a bit for it to finish running. So we're going to be a little bit patient. All right, that's it. As you can see, it opened the generated report in my default browse browser automatically. And if we take a look at the table of contents here on the left, we can see that all the content is present in the exact order that I added it to the report. So first the input raw, then the filtered raw epochs, and then the evoked auditory object. Okay. So what do we have here is some general information on the, on the, on the raw data that we added to collapse this. I can just click the title here and this collapses, um, get a view of the time series. Just going to close this and let's move on to the filtered raw because here we should have a PSD figure. Here it is. And we can see that filtering actually did have an effect and the uh, line noise is gone. All right, we're done with raw. So let's just make use of these filter tax options we have here. So I'm just going to deselect raw and tada, the raw objects disappear from my report. They're not deleted. They're just not displayed right now. So now I can focus on the epochs. Looks good. We have an herb image here. Very nice. 
and down here we have an we have our evoked object this is the auditory uh, data that we generated and we actually have a time slider here it allows us to view the topography at different time points by default these are i think 21 and you can also change the number of time points to display and of course the gfp so this only scratched on the surface of what an ME report can do. If you want to know more about this, go to our website, mne.tools, click on tutorials, scroll down a little bit, and you will find this tutorial, getting started with mne.report. And you will find an explanation of all the different methods that the report supports and um, all different ways in which you can utilize it.